Reaching Chernihiv meant risking your life under Russian fire until a couple of days ago. That's when Russian troops pulled back, lifting a siege around this city, letting in life and revealing huge trauma. Antonina had been a street cleaner before Russian shelling on her home shattered her body. She lost a leg, some fingers, an eye, but not her spirit. This, this awful trauma has happened to you, and yet you are still smiling. How are you doing that? Мене коли не сли, бійці наші. Я сміялась, бо я товста. А я кажу, хлопці, я вже стала трохи легше. Doctors have been living and working in their hospital since the war started, dealing with hundreds of victims. This place was shelled too, forcing them to operate in the basement. Працювали в операційних, не зразу не було і освітлення, тому працювали під ліхтариками. Дуже тяжко було. In the center of the city, evidence of Russia's war isn't hard to find. The Ukraine hotel took a direct hit from an airstrike. Close to the borders with Russia and Belarus, Chernihiv was targeted from the first days of the invasion. Ukrainian forces fought back hard, but this official says at least 300 people across the region died in the bombardments, and he accused Russian soldiers of war crimes. Мешканці цих населених пунктів жили в погребах, підвалах. Численні випадки знущання, катування, вбивства цивільного населення. Все це є біля Чернігова і в Чернігівській області. The city is starting to open up again, yet reminders of the past weeks loom large. The attack here happened at four in the morning on the 15th of March. Fortunately, many of the residents had already been evacuated, so they weren't killed. But this is clearly a residential building. We've also heard about hospitals and schools being hit. But the devastation would have been even worse had Russian forces not been pushed back. Nadia lives in the block and showed us some of the damage. Worrying times. Water in short supply too. The fighting may have moved away here for now, but not the weight of war. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Chernihiv.